Gentlemen, the million dollar man is living, breathing proof. Greed is good. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Palm Beach, Florida. Weighing in at 260 pounds. The million dollar champion. The million dollar man. Ted DiBiase. Well, we know Ted DiBiase has plenty of accolades as a competitor, but well, DiBiase was also an accomplished manager. You're right about that, Saxton, and the Million Dollar Corporation made selling out cool. You know, I just don't hope we have to see Ted DiBiase putting money in his opponent's mouth tonight. Oh, that's disgusting. What, are you jealous, Saxton? There's more money in that opponent's mouth than you've made your entire career. I think the company refers to you as a tax write-off, Saxton. Or a minimum wage, Saxton. <laughs> Cactus Jack is back. And his opponent from Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. Weighing in at 287 pounds, Cactus Jack! Cactus Jack has proven on multiple occasions he will go to any lengths to win a match. Yeah, you don't win or lose against Cactus Jack. You simply do your best to just try to survive. Cactus Jack will not stop fighting once the bell rings, that's for sure. Oh, I doubt Cactus Jack will even wait for the bell to ring. Cactus Jack just wants to fight. I just hope he doesn't come over here. Hey, Saxton, bang, bang. When it comes to unpredictable superstars, Cactus Jack has to be right at the top of the list. There's no telling what this man will do once the bell rings. Cactus Jack delights in letting his imagination run wild in the ring. As long as it causes destruction, there's no object he won't try to use as a weapon, and no risk he won't take. In some ways, you have to respect Cactus Jack's no-limit style. It can make him a very challenging opponent to contend with. And then you have the magnanimous, perched up top, and nobody's there! No! no. Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Jack wards that attack off. Boom, DDT! How do you keep up with an underhanded opponent like the Million Dollar Man? Don't let the glitz and glam of the Million Dollar Man throw you off. If you let DiBiase distract you for even a moment, he'll find some way to tip the scales in his favor. Able to reverse that one! Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Jack starting to struggle now. Jack felt that coming. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal forearm. Oh, look at the knee to the man that hurts. No, no. Oh, no, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. He is doing whatever possible to torture the knee. Oof. The fight has been taken to Jack. Yeah, Cactus's defensive instinct. And here comes the cover. Is it enough to... Oh, hey, 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 hey. Feet on the ropes. Not even a one count there. He is definitely struggling to keep him down at this point. DiBiase was scouted there. Jack reversing the momentum on him. Good chance for Cactus to gain his wits about him. Expected that. Oh, 
Draped across the top rope. Clubbing four. Placing them into the corner. Oh, an ouch. Cactus Jack. Oh, no. Cactus Jack at the cover. And he powers out. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? Vice-like grip on the trapezius muscle. This is terribly painful. Ah, oh, DiBiase able to counter. Now look at his aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. He's absorbing some tough hits now. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. Makes him pay with a counter. What's Jack starting here? Go! Polo! Power driver! Jack might have this wrapped up. Two count. That'll do it. The victory tonight. Here is your winner, Cactus Jack. A big win and a big match. A brutalizing showing here from the maniacal Cactus Jack. And that means it was a wonderful night by his standards.